feet. Don't touch them, little kitty. Hi. Well, that's a dangerous situation we will explore by answering a life-saving question. What happens if you touch a poison dart frog? Zoom in! In the vibrant world of tropical rainforests, you'll find approximately 180 species of poison dart frogs flashing their bright, colorful outfits. But these colors aren't for show. They serve as a warning sign for potential predators, saying, Stay away, I'm toxic. Yes, despite their small size, no one dares to get too close to these creatures as their skin secretions pack a powerful toxin known as alkaloids, making them unappetizing or downright deadly for any potential predators. But exactly how poisonous are poison frogs? Well, determining the exact strength of their poison can be quite a puzzle. But as some species are completely harmless, while most fall somewhere in the middle, they're toxic but not necessarily lethal. But there are a few species in this froggy family, like the golden poison dart frog, that boasts skin so toxic that it can take down as many as 10 grown men with a single dose of its venom. So no wonder some clever South American tribes have been using these frogs for ages, coating the tips of their darts and arrows with their potent venom for hunting. And that's how they got their catchy name, poison dart frogs. But the vital question is, what if someone mistakenly gets their hands on the poisonous members of their family? At first, usually within a minute of touch, the individual may start to experience mild tingling to complete numbness in the contacted area. As time passes, the skin may become irritated, leading to redness, itching or a burning sensation. If the toxins manage to enter the bloodstream either through mucous membranes or cuts on the skin, more severe symptoms including nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and muscle weakness may develop. If no medical help is received at this point, in some extreme cases, the person may suffer from a seizure and even paralysis, which can be fatal. I know what you are thinking. Is there any way we could minimize the risk after exposing ourselves to its poison? Well, don't worry, my dear friends. We've got a plan to keep you safe. Firstly, take a deep breath and gently move away from the frog. We don't want any more close encounters. Next, find some soap and water and give the area a good wash to help get rid of any froggy toxins on your skin. But even after that, make sure to keep those hands away from your eyes, nose and mouth to avoid those toxins from getting inside your body. And most importantly, speak to an adult about this and immediately make a call to your doctor. Although there are no completely effective treatments available for such cases, luckily the doctor might prescribe certain medicines or recommend other treatments to help you feel better. However, the best advice is to keep a safe distance from them. So next time you spot a poison dart frog, remember, Look, but don't touch. Trivia time! Did you know scientists think that poison dart frogs get their toxicity from some of the insects they eat, like ants, beetles, centipedes and termites? Yes, without their special rainforest diet, they are about as harmless as your average garden frog. And if you want to know more about the life cycle of frogs, please check out our video on the same. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Aaron Rijal. Hope you learned something good today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.